Hi YouTubers, it's been a long time since I've made another video, it's been about seven or eight years. So um, I wanted to start off this topic about 12 rules for Christian manhood, from, from my opinion. As a Christian man, these are my 12 rules that I live by and why I live by them. So I'm going to start with no further ado and get on with this video. So basically my first number one rule as a Christian man is to fall in love with Christ and follow him wholeheartedly. So make Christ my number one focus, focus on him, praise him, worship him, make him my number one in my life. This is very, very important for a Christian man to do as the number one focus, for my opinion. Remember, these are my opinions. I'm not telling you how you should live your life. I'm saying this is my suggestion for a good way to live your life. So rule number one, fall in love with Christ follow him wholeheartedly put him first above all other people and um, that's a good place to start it says in the bible if a man builds his house on the rock on a solid foundation his his house will stand the storms the test of life the things that can go wrong but if a, if a man puts his house on sand builds his house on sand the house when the storms come will go come tumbling down when you've got Jesus as a centre, as a first person you worship, you have what I call a solid foundation. A solid foundation you can rely upon. And I don't just mean following a religion. I, I mean getting to know him through the Bible, through praising him, through worshipping him, through putting him first. This is very, very, very important to me. And the number one rule for my Christian manhood. The second rule is to love women. Now, I don't mean by that that I should be a womanizer who goes to bars and clubs and picks up women. What I mean is, is if a man's going to do well in life, he needs to be somebody who likes women, who I don't mean sexually, I don't mean in a romantic way, but a person who respects women, um, respects who they are, respects their people with their own opinions and equals in the world. This is really, really important. So, because you'll never get anywhere in life really with, with women unless you like them. And the thing is, there's men who like women sexually and romantically, but don't actually like them in any other way, i.e. they're just out to just get their own pleasures met. But if a man genuinely likes women, genuinely cares about them, he will uh, care about them in his interaction with them, there will be, it will be genuine and his interactions with, with the women will be sincere rather than the other way round. So that's rule number two, very, very important. Number three, have passions and follow them ardently. ardently. So be passionate. Have passions in your life like writing, making music, maybe it might be a particular sport that you're good at. Have at least two passions. One of my main passions is care work. And I know that's my job, but I'm really passionate about it. I'm really passionate about seeing people do their, their best in life and be, be cared for. So that is, is, is a major passion of mine. I have other passions, but that's the, one of the major passions of mine. So it's really important that a man has passions because if a man has passions, people take him seriously. Yeah. If you don't have passions, you don't have substance, people will not take you seriously. So you lose out. People will just think you're slight. You know, there's not a lot to you. So really important rule number three, have passions and follow them ardently. Number four, choose not to need women. In other words, you can desire a relationship with a woman, but you should not need one. Need is not good when it comes to men in relation to women. Women don't want a needy man. They don't want a desperate man. They want a man who doesn't need them. You are just fine and just okay on your own. Okay? You don't need a woman. Yet society will tell you you've got to have a woman. You've got to have a lady on your arm uh, to be complete as a man. That's a load of BS as far as I'm concerned. You don't need that. You can desire, and desires are very strong. But the thing is, desire, the difference between desires and needs is you can master your desires, you cannot master your needs. So it's very important that the, that's only a desire rather than a need. You do not need, you should choose not to need women. That is rule number four. 
Number five, learn to give something of yourself in every interaction. So don't let your interactions with others be wasted. Let, let the interactions mean something. So if you're talking to someone, ask them a meaningful question. What are your hobbies? What 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 your passions? What what do you want to see change in the world? It doesn't have to be serious all the time. It can be funny, but make it count for something. Make your interactions with others that you meet count for something when you have them. Very very important. And try to uh, give something of yourself in that. Rule number six: value the person in front of you. Very very important. Whoever that person is. It may not be the person you wish to speak to at that, that, that moment. You may walk into a room and you may see someone attractive uh, over the other side of the room and think, I really want to talk to that person. Then you get an older person uh, who can't, you know, who can't either hear or talk or whatever properly, comes up and starts talking to you. Don't write that person off. Talk to them. Find out about them. Be interested in them. Because at the end of the day, you're not better than anybody else. So put that person in front of you first. And then other people will be watching how you behave and how you act. And they might be able to put a little bit of faith in you, you know, about how you react to everybody. But you're not doing it for that. You're doing it because that's a really important thing, to value the person right in front of you. Very important. Number seven, praise the Lord to strengthen your spiritual muscles. When, you, when Christians get tempted, they can praise the Lord, tempted to sin or whatever. Praise is very important, for God inhabits the praises of his people. So if you praise the Lord, you are strengthening your inner man, you're strengthening your, your spirit to face temptations, to fight, to be a bold and courageous man who has a power over sin in his life. Very, very important. Praising the Lord, you know, lifting his name up, taking your eyes off your situation and off your sins and putting them onto Jesus. Very important. Number eight. Never defend yourself. If you know you are okay and you're right, you do not need to defend yourself. A person who becomes defences and defends themselves uh, does not understand that they're right. They don't understand that they're in. They're okay. What I mean to say is that you can you could admit you're wrong. That's fine. That's not the same as defending yourself. If you defend yourself, it means somebody's got to you. It means somebody who says something to you, has, has, has pulled your strings, as it were. You should not care about what other people think of you. It's not important, okay? Don't need to defend yourself. Okay, number t uh, nine, forgive with your whole heart. It's very important to forgive others, because if we don't forgive others, they will hold us back from our future, from going anywhere and doing anything meaningful. It's really important that we forgive everybody from our past wholeheartedly with the right attitude uh, with all our heart very very important that number 10 have few friends but love them dearly it's not always an advantage to have lots of friends because the thing is if you have lots of friends you cannot invest all your time and energy as you need to in those friends that you have you just can't do it you know but if you have a few friends that you love dearly you can invest that time and energy into those things so you can build up those special friendships. Number 11, never expect from another that which you do not give yourself. This is particularly important in relationships. If you've got a relationship with somebody and um, you want to you know, go on, don't expect anything else from somebody that you are not willing to give yourself. 